And as it is a tradition at our regional summits, uh, we always honor those at the end who really work on the ground to improve the state of the world, who take personal sacrifices to increase welfare of many, many people. So I may ask the chair of the Schwab Foundation for Social Entrepreneurship uh, to join us here at the stage. The framework we have to work on is not working. Poverty, unemployment, food crisis, oil crisis, everything. We need to build a new civilization where you won't have that. It's not money obsession, it's about human beings. Never ever have we been in such a need for social entrepreneurs to work in partnership with governments, NGOs, and civil society at large. Having access to the World Economic Forum for any social entrepreneur gives us a greater chance to scale our impact. We're able to connect with people from all over the world who are focused on the same issues. It's all about reaching more people and affecting change. We have enough technology, we have enough ability, enough innovative capacity to create the world that you feel comfortable with, you feel proud of creating that world. President Zuma, distinguished heads of state and government, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. During the last three days, nearly 100 outstanding social entrepreneurs from every region in the world gathered here in Durban for the largest summit of the Schwab Foundations in more than a decade. They were joined by young global leaders and global shapers to collaborate on projects, mentor each other, and identify opportunities to jointly solve the urgent problems of our times. With the Social Entrepreneurship Award, the Schwab Foundation wants to recognize and celebrate social innovation, inclusiveness, and social progress. The social entrepreneurs who are participating in this meeting have all been distinguished for their contribution to improve the lives of thousands, if not millions, of people. They work in diverse fields and are pioneers in developing new methods to tackling malnutrition, to improve education and healthcare, inventing new technologies for people with disabilities, for preventive medical care, research in biodiversity and organic agriculture, and I could go on and on. In short, they all have the overreaching goal of reducing poverty. Social inclusion and poverty alleviation remain high on the agenda of Africa. Often, social entrepreneurs step in to fill the gaps in service delivery and social programs to low-income communities. They do this through their innovative business models in areas such as health, digital technology, and financial services. They are vibrant catalysts in the growth of the entrepreneurial ecosystem of Africa and at the wake of the fourth industrial revolution. There's a lot of talk about recently uh, that we must develop new narratives, positive narratives. The social entrepreneurs have exceptional stories to tell. Today, we have the pleasure of awarding three social entrepreneurs for Africa 2017. And I would like now to ask each awardee to join me on stage when I call their name. Sonkita Conte. Sankita Conte, his organization Namati works in Sierra Leone. They train and support local paralegals to assist the millions of people worldwide that live outside the protection of the law. Focusing on three main justice challenges, land and environment, access to decent health care and citizenship rights, Namati has helped over 54,000 clients in eight countries.
Raquel Rinaldo. His organization, Zipline, works in Rwanda. Zipline is the first company to use drones, which they call Zips, to deliver vaccines, medicine, and blood transfusions for use in rural Rwanda. A Zip zooms along 100 kilometers per hour, dropping off its cargo with a small parachute. Zipline is partnering with the Rwandan government in 20 hospitals and health centers providing urgent medical supplies for millions of people. <laughs> Dale Lewis. <laughs> Organization Comaco Zambia. If farmers could make a decent living, poaching would decline. That's the theory behind Comaco, which has virtually eradicated poaching across a million hectares by giving farmers education and access to premium markets for products like peanut butter, rice, and honey. To date, Comaco has registered 140,000 farmers committed to conservation farming practices and wildlife preservation. I would also like to acknowledge our 2017 OD, Raj Punjabi, the CEO of Last Mile Health in Liberia. Unfortunately, Raj could not be here with us this week, but we want to recognize the tremendous work of Last Mile Health in pioneering a community health worker model to reach people living more than five kilometers away from their nearest clinics across in rural Liberia. A final word to thank our partner for South Africa, Dr. Precious Moloi Metzepe and Patrice Motsepe and the <laughs> and the Motsepe Foundation for their enthusiastic support and contribution. Thank you. Can I like can I ask now all the social entrepreneurs to stand up so that we can See you, thank you for your engagement and dedication to humanity. Thank you. This concludes, this concludes our opening session. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.